Hello there, Internet Version 2 here with Let's Play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Today, you might notice that we're really close to the camera, but you also might notice I'm missing half a heart, and that is because in between episodes I did a thing. You probably, if you're paying attention to this, you know what it is. Those were not words. I got some smotherwing butterflies. I grabbed a bunch of those and I'll shot by a knocked rock. So, I lost a little bit of health. But we have nine smotherwing butterflies. So we can upgrade that armor. And then we'll have all of our story armors, except for the Zora stuff, upgraded to three. But that's because I don't even have all the Zora stuff, which is the most Oh, actually. <clears throat> Realizing when I shoot one thing, I should definitely not do it here. No, I do it here. Uh... Go away from smuggling butterfly, let's go back to shrines. Also, let's decide something to do today, because I don't know. We've got to pick a thing. So, where's... I'm trying to look for a big-ass area that I haven't done anything with. And let's go, hmm... What if, what's an area that I haven't looked at or glanced at in any capacity? And let's go there and do the thing. Uh, looking around. I mean, like, I'm seeing a bunch of areas that don't have much exploration, but I'm looking for areas, like, gigantic areas that don't have a bunch of things done. Part of me wants to go to this spiral thing that's just been here this whole time, because surely there's something in the middle. I mean, there's a little point there, and that outpost, which is probably just an enemy outpost. I'm going to go here, and then if there's nothing to do, like, if there's nothing super exciting... Then we'll go do somewhere else, but we'll go there first. Is this the best way to get here? Probably. Let us march onwards! Again, I'm getting to the point where trying to explore and discover things is going to become more difficult because I've done most of the things. So it's a matter of, okay, it's all done. What do I do? Fuck. <laughs> I mean, we've got a hundred damn shrines, which is awesome, and I love it, but oh boy. I'm running low on the things to do, standard. I mean, there's still a shitload to do, yes, but part of finding those things to do, uh, part of doing those things is, I spoil it by just saying up there, is finding things to do. Alright, while I don't need any particular thing, let's just be armor crazy. I should probably also mark this on the map. Just so I make sure I am walking the right direction. Oh, zap shrooms! Pick up, no, no, pick up the zap shrooms. There we go, yeah. I mean, I'm I know I'm gonna have an entire episode that is me trying to fill the compendium. Just like going around going, what should be here? Let's go take photos of it and everything like that. But that's not gonna be now. Right, see our Hyrule herb here. See, I feel like this is gonna be a shrine. Like, I feel like we're gonna get there and a shrine's gonna appear. Or we're gonna get a shrine quest or something. Like, I can't see the shrine from here, so it'd be a shrine quest for it to rise out of the ground. What is this little thing? Oh, hello there. Oh, I know what you are. Isn't Master Koga just so dreamy? I can stare at that poochie dummy piece all day long. Master Koga? No, you don't know about him. How could anyone, anyone not know about him? He's leader of the Yugi clan. <laughs> I'll take your life. Hello. Hi. It's oh, acting tired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like they're just <laughs> like <laughs> go away. <laughs> they're so easy to kill. Like they're so weak. <laughs> I mean, they've got, like, part of that is because of how far I am now, but, like, even 72 health is not a shitload. Isn't that how much, like, the blue becoblins have? Or is that black becoblins have that much? You know what? Now that I think about it, maybe not. Maybe that. Oh, hey there. Oh, I'm gonna show off so much right now. <laughs> Trying to see how far back I can send because I don't know if they'll spread out wide enough for it to work. Oh. Ah, damn it. They're not nowhere near wide enough. Oh, I'm using the five-shot one. I probably shouldn't be using the five-shot one. Let's just go back to a weak bow. It's amazing how fast this one is. 
Like, I knew it was, like, faster, but I didn't realize it made the arrows fly that much faster. I thought you could just fire them off faster, and realize that each individual arrow went out faster. I see you down there. Los Alpos and everything. I see you all around. I'm also just gonna ignore you. Just hiding out there near the boat. I know what you're doing. Oh, there's a lot. Okay. This area actually has, it seems, it seems to have a, a lot of enemies. Okay. Just diving across the isn't gonna work anywhere near as well here. Go away! You got up to me? Where are you? There you are! Hi! Go away! Go away! You've made me lose half a heart so far. Go away! Wow, that was terrible. Go away! Into the water with you! Damn it. 864? What the fuck? How? How does that thing have 864? Okay, I need to take care of this fucker. Go away! Yeah! How does that Lizelfo have 864 health? What the fuck? Yeah, now you're super dead. You die in the middle of the water. Okay. I need to investigate this Lizelfo that has 864 fucking health. What is going on over here? Did it spawn with like a stat buff? Was it you? Who spawned with that much health? You? 864? What the fuck? How? How do you have so much? Let me shoot you in the face. Actually, if I'm gonna shoot you in the face, let me... Oh, is that a silver one? Like that goblin that I fought that one time? Oh my god, it actually is. Holy shit, the silver was Alphos. Come here. I'm gonna get a good photo of you, because you're bad. Yes. Ow! No way. No. That's a good one. That's not great. Stop it! Stop it! I'm trying to get photos of you. Man. Oh, that tape's good. There we go. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> um. Should I use something stronger? I'm gonna use- Yeah, fuck it. Ah, uh, good times any. Mighty Lionel Sword. Let's go. I'll fuck you up! Fuck you! Oh, me just getting dramatic! Bam! Well, bamzos! You don't have a weapon, though. If you had a weapon, you'd be so much more terrifying. But you don't, so you're not. Uh, if you just spit in your tongue around and everything, and I'm like, yeah, okay. Bye. Okay, so silver enemies can appear of other varieties too. I was wondering if it was just silver, like it was just a goblin thing. But not everything can do that. Alright. Topaz. Okay. Silver ones drop gemstones. That is awesome, and I will have to keep an eye on that. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, I can see the damn thing in the middle. I can see it there. But it's clearly... Br oh, I bet because this is round, we've got to grab like a ball or something and run it around the edges or something. So it's going to be something along those lines. That's what, And that's why there's so many. There was also this thing that I noticed. Oh, this is a shortcut to the middle. Okay. You don't have to swim all the way around. Like, because... Actually, it doesn't even go that much. Okay. Go away. Really bothering me, you know. Pricks. Alright, so we've got, yeah. That's putting a ball in here. Why the music changed here? Okay. I see you there. If I don't, hi. Hi. Fuck you up. Fuck. Go away. Aha. <laughs> Uh, you're dead now. So many crabs everywhere. So yeah, bring a ball to the middle and then it will appear. Awesome. Also noticing, like, these burning bushes here. These bushes that I can burn. There's gotta be a reason that I can do it. 
What is under them? A rock. Korok? There! <laughs> Koroks for days. Okay. If I had to guess, that encampment over there is gonna be where the um ball apps pick up is. Because yeah, it goes from there and then would start going around. It would make sense. Let's go! Like I could go and kill all the enemies now, or I could also not do that. Swimming across is gonna be a pain. It's gonna be a pain to swim across. Let's but let's do it anyway. Because fuck it, I'm lazy. Like it's either gonna be there or it's gonna be somewhere like up at the top there. But it's probably in the enemy encampment. It would make sense if it was there. I'm surprised that I like trying quest to feed them though. Oh boy, this is actually gonna use up our extra stamina. Actually, let's just paddle across so I don't use that wheel when I don't have to. Man, this was further than I, than I realized. Oh, shit. Come on, a little bit further. Stand up there we go. Save that stamina for when I'm climbing something and then I realize that I can't do it and it's a pain. <laughs> Yeah, it would make sense if it's over there. Although there's a boat over there, that feels like cheating. I'm assuming it's here. Watch it not be here, and then I'm gonna be confused. Shit, I don't think it's over here. <laughs> Whoops. Fire bats. Interesting. I don't know what you're doing here, but hello. Fire, fire, fire with fire! Yeah. Hi Lazalfos, how are you today? Do you have any orbs for me? Bye. Oh, it feels me! It feels me. I don't particularly care that it feels me, but it still feels me. Okay, can I jump back onto this one? I can! That was a weird climbing animation to get around there, but I, but I can. Hello! Ah. And you go away, sir. Okay, so what is the point of this little camp? Where is it? Where's this all? I really figured it would be here. Climb up to the top of this. It doesn't appear to be here either. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I really thought it would be here. Okay. Time to explore further up there. Like, if it's gonna be anywhere, it would be connected to this. Like, it might be over here. I mean, there's, like, ruins over here, so maybe it's there? Or is this on over there somewhere? Like, somewhere over there? Just to fuck you. <laughs> oh, go away. Right, right, right. Right. I should also go kill some Lionels today so I can complete Skullerania. They're still gonna attack me out there. Yeah. Because I changed in front of them, I don't think it works. But hey, if more of them appear, now they'll fuck off. Because I am Skullerania. Clap, 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 clap. Okay. Hey, Nox, that's holding the orb. Where are you? No, it's just sitting here. Interesting. Only hero bearing this ancient orb shall uh, be granted the right of trial on Rift Peninsula. Into the vortex. <laughs> okay. The fact that it's just sitting here, it makes me think something is gonna happen when I pick it up. Oh god damn it! Go away. Fucking blood moons. And if oh, I was actually considering. Oh, Okay. You do that item that I wanted to pick up, and now I guess I won't. Okay. Before I start that, I do notice this. Where is my orb? Well, now that I think about it, that's the first time I've seen a blood moon rise from that far away. <laughs> All right. Where's the, where's the cube? There's a cube somewhere. Oh, there it is. Boy, what are you doing up? You crazy. Come down here, you silly. Really? Okay, where is it? 
What is it? Okay. Come back this way. Where do you go? I haven't actually looked at this yet. Uh. Da, da, da. Da, da. Is it? I think it's there. I think it goes here. But I'm not quite certain. There it is! It spun like it rolled instead of spinning sideways. I don't think we've done that before with one of those. Uh, yay, more Koroks. So many Koroks in this game. And I'm still needing a shitload to upgrade my stuff. How much do I need for my arrow? Oh, not my arrow, my um, weapons. It's 55 or some, something crazy like that. Okay, into the vortex, let's go. Yep. Come at me, Blood Moon. I'm doing a trial, so whatever. But part of my worry is if it falls into the water, it's gonna be a pain in the ass to get back, so I might want to put it down and fire the enemies as I go along. Actually, a Blood Moon now does help because. I don't know if I've had a Blood Moon since last time I killed a bunch of the Lynels. And I do want to kill the Lynels in this episode to get Skullmania maxed out. There's no need to get Skullmania maxed out other than my own personal desire. But this is a very strong personal desire that I have. So, it's worth it. Okay. I don't think the enemies that I am wearing Skullmania for are going to appear on this island, so... Okay, so these things fall asleep at exactly midnight. Andy. Oh. Hi there. Hi. Hi. Oh, man. It's stupid how much I don't have to worry about things at the moment. Or ever. Uh, maybe I did level up too much. Maybe this is possible. I want to pick up those things. Did you throw a rock at me? Fuck you! Ow! Man! If enemies keep attacking me like this, I might have to heal at one point on this island somewhere. Ow! Okay. I have not fought many mobs that, that use spears and I'm fucking up. Ow, ow, ow. Did you go away? Go away. This says all your shit catches on fire. Random question. Boko Spear, I don't have a photo of it. You know I didn't. Uh, wait, did I already pick one up? I already picked one up, so we're good. I don't have to worry about picking up the others. But I will grab your bits. Yay, bits. Okay. Into the vortex, we continue going. Let's go. All these enemies that I cleared out. Oh, Silver Goblin's gonna come back. Oh, man. It's the worst. Hi! Also, watch me, don't care about you guys. <laughs> oh, you almost got me! Oh no, it's a fight of these bushes that are over here. Yeah! Oh, up, up, up. They got bored and left. Alright, let's uh, No, I didn't mean to crouch. Zalpos don't have to notice me if they don't want to, it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like this peninsula was such like a standout, like spiral inside. I figured there's got to be something over there, and there was. There indeed was. Hello. Ah, <laughs> uh, I freed you, horsey. Yeah, give me your arrows. Ooh, Dragon Mine. Oh, Dragonbone! Oh wow, Dragonbone Boko Spear. That was actually pretty good. And I also don't have one of those. Fucking more weapons to pick up. I will gladly take that. What should I get rid of for it? Man, it's been. I feel like it's been so long since I've taken a photo of a weapon that I haven't had, and now I've got like two of them, and I'm like, yay! Uh, what should I get rid of? What should I actually get rid of? I don't know. Yeah, that. But photo. Uh, <laughs> actually, this. <clears throat> it's one-handed. Um. So it's only good for sword and boarding. But I have plenty of other one-handed swords. So, whatever. And two new weapons? 
Because it's all Boko stuff, that's why. Because <laughs> most of the just standard problems uh, that I was fighting were all before I got the camera. But as music's all pretty different now. Oh, you missed me. Come get me! You want to do your coward? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You fuck off. What was I gonna say? Yeah, the compendium. Because it's because all the compendiums in order. There's probably a bunch that I've like I've taken enough photos of so many different things at this point that there are probably things in between that I can work out what they are. Like I can probably go, oh, this should be that because it falls in between these other two different things. So there's probably a whole bunch that I could work out what they are and try and go for them. Well, just because... I mean, like, butterflies. Like, there's a variety of butterflies and that are all together, so if I'm missing any of those, I know that. Same with the... The enemy weapons are going to be the most standout one for that, because pretty much every weapon that you pick off of an enemy comes in, like, the various strengths. Like, Boko has, like, Boko and, like, uh, like bone and dragon bone and stuff like that or whatever like the different categories are so there's all those different options for those weapons but then there's all they also go what are you doing oh, girl, you're gross but they've also got the different categories in terms of like one-handed two-handed spears so there's all like what like that's probably why there's so many weapons it's because every weapon has multiple different iterations of the same weapon oh i want to pick you up so there's probably a lot of weapons that I could work out what they are and just go, Oh, I'm missing like this level of this type of Lizalfo weapon. Let's go fight a bunch of Lizalfos until one of them drops it. Yay. Okay. I feel like the trap is you walk across there, so it's a faster trip. But if you get hit by all these people shooting rocks at you and you drop it at any point, then it falls into the water and it becomes more annoying. Or you can just have 88 defense and let them hit you and you don't even drop it and you don't even care. <laughs> I feel like I am not doing this in the, in the spirit that it was intended. I'm just casually strolling through, <laughs> holding a different Roscoe above my head, and just casually sauntering along. <laughs> uh, but hey, we finally did the spiral. Spiral that I've been saying I'll go to for ages, and I actually went to for the first time now. Like, I was, I was wondering, maybe it's just going to be a side quest. I'm so glad it was a shrine, though, because it's such a standout point for a shrine. And then there was one here. Yay. Get in there. Thank you. We did it. Now, will it be a blessing or something else inside? I, if I had to guess, it's going to be a test of strength. You go through all of the enemies, fighting all of the things to get to this middle section, and then they're just like, bam, five more enemies, because test of strength time, motherfucker. And then you're like, ah! And then you run away crying. But I wouldn't do that. Hell yeah, into the vortex complete. What, what? Bam. So many shrines! Look, this is... This is the wonderful 101st shrine. Although it's the 102nd that we've entered because I didn't, I never did that constellation thing. I should really go back to that and see if I can work it out. It's constellation, so it's looking at the sky. If, I'm get, if I had to guess, it's being in Korok Forest at night and looking up. But, I'm scared I'm gonna think that go there, try and do it, and it's not that, and then I'm gonna be like, shit. Also, it's a blessing. So, thank you for, um, yeah, another easy one. <laughs> if I was earlier on where I actually had to worry about whether enemies hit me, it would be more difficult, but even then, like, all the enemies just respawned for a blood moon, and most of the enemies there didn't even bother with me. Like, most enemies barely looked at me and actually did anything. I, I do not deserve that for that one, but I'll take it. I mean, I think I used all the giant ancient cores for weapons that I needed, because I got the bow and the shield, and I'm pretty sure all the other weapons are just normal ancient cores. So I will likely still need them for my armor, so thank you. I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll definitely still need some, but... 
See, my concern is, will I require giant ancient cores getting my ancient armor up to level 3 or 4? Because if I need it at level 3, I'll need 1 for each for level 3 and then 2 for each at level 4, and that's a lot. And I'm kind of hoping I just need 1 per piece at level 4. Because the ancient armor would be one that's worthwhile getting to level 4, because defense, guardian, resistance, like, you would tear, like... That would be what you wear and just tear through, like, Ganon's castle, or Hyrule castle, whatever you want to call it. And just, because no guardian would fuck with you at that point. But I've got to beat the game wearing the champion's tunic, otherwise it would be weird. <laughs> and we back. Yay! Did the thing. Okay. So, now where to? Here's map on this, kind of looks messy. <laughs> okay. What else shall we explore today? See, there's, there's all these areas that don't have anything, but it's like, would there be a shrine there? Uh, it's hard to tell. Like, I'm trying to look for things that will stand out as being shrine-worthy. Like, this pond here. Maybe? There's no other shrines that we've gotten in Linaria for quite a while, so possibly. Around the outskirts here? Maybe, but... I don't know. But there's so many areas that could have shrines. I mean, we've only got... Like, we don't have that many left, so I can't imagine... Like, this whole big area here, we haven't even been to. Surely somewhere across these four areas, there'd be a shrine somewhere here. So I think I might go to this tower here. And let's go through this section of the Gerudo Highlands and see. Like, it just seems like such a big area that surely it would come across at least one. Like, that's what I'm trying to look for. I'm trying to look for big, large areas that I haven't even, like, remotely touched. Because, like, small little patches going, Oh yeah, I didn't do that. I didn't actually, like, go to this small little patch. It's like, but if it was there, the Shrine Center would have done it for me. Where I'm thinking big, large swaths will be what will help me. Okay, so now we can wear stuff. We'll wear this. We'll wear this. See, like, my ruby circlet is more defense than my headdress be because I upgraded it, so technically it was easier to upgrade, yes. It still is just straight up worse than this armor once it gets to le once it all gets level 4. So why does it exist? I, I don't know. If it were up to me, there would be, like, advantages of just, like, you can wear the ruby circlet, you won't get the... Oh, fuck. You won't get the bonus for um, the set, but you'll get more defense. Like, it would be a worthwhile trade-off. Like, you'd have, you have to actually choose between options. Okay, we're going to go to Safia's table. We're going to go to the Zerko Meso. We're going to go to Lafro Mesa. And we're going to go to the Tulsa Snowlands. And have I been to these areas? Yet? Yeah, because that's obviously that there. And then this thing at the bottom once we're all done with that. And we'll just swing around all those areas and see if we can find a single shrine anywhere. Also, I remember climbing this exact thing before earlier. Ah, oh, man, that was ages ago. So I did this area of towers early. Like, I just, I think about the game, it's like, it's gone through so many different phases of, like, how the playstyle, how the gameplay loop has gone. It's gone through so many variations. Like, this was early. Like, when we were first here, this was early in the game. Like, super early. And what was our goal here? Our goal was, okay, there's a tower. We can't just climb it. Work out how to get the fuck. Work out how to get up there. Why am I walking off the edges of this? Like, just the differences of early on is, here's a tower. We've got to work out how to climb this tower. Ooh, but then we've got to work out, like, how to get up to the top of this area and everything. And, but there was, uh, finding the tower in the first place was exploration. And, like, even, like, the, even the, ex the exploring that I'm doing now in the game is still very different to the exploring that I did at the beginning of the game. Because what I'm doing now is looking at the map going, that looks like an area where something should be because I haven't been there before. Let's go find that. Where before it was, pick a direction and go and see if we can find anything. Do I cut off this butterfly? I do. Having smotherwing butterflies is now making me paranoid that I'm missing other butterflies, which I'm, I, I'm probably not. Because there's heat, cold, electric, and 
lava <laughs> resistance ones. And I think I have a photo of all of them, but major photography is still very important to me. For reasons that I'm still not 100% certain on. Ooh, Dana's! Gold Dana. Wait, what's the one Dana that I don't have? Oh, it is a cold Dana! Ooh, I need one of these, actually. I need a cold Dana. Knew I needed something. I'm going slightly lower, you motherfucker. Come here! Come here! A little bit more. You motherfucker, go! Ah, you son of a bitch. I need at least one cold Dana. Because I need to do that side quest where I give the lady her three Danas. Cold Dana, there we go. So have I got the three now? Cold Dana, warm Dana, electric Dana. Perfect. Now I can go do that. I will do that this episode now that I have them all. Again, another side quest that happened ages ago, and now I'm just worrying about it. But there's so many side quests that I've got available, and probably an absolute fuck ton that I have not even started. I am because I'm crazy. I want to do all of them. Does this? Yeah, is this two hands? Cool. I have a new axe for cutting open logs. Logs? Rocks, I meant. I meant rocks. Oh, there we go. Because I'm not going to use a giant boomerang in combat, really. But now I can use it to do that and get some sapphires. Hell yeah. Shuckers of the duckers. Oh, oh. And drop down. Awesome. Man, just climbing sheer cliff faces again. <laughs> uh... Man, remember when I was that mountain that was over at Gerudo, like, that I climbed in, like, episode 8? Like, the first, like, real area that I was just like, hey, let's go over to there. Back when I found that, oh, and I had to use cold resistance items to actually survive over here. Man, so long ago. Also, hi, whichever dragon that is over there. Probably Farosh, because it's always Farosh. Hi, Farosh! Why do you keep showing up everywhere I am and- Oh, fuck you. Can you still instant kill me? You assholes. Okay, you know what? So I don't have to worry about fighting you at all? No, that's... I go for the powerful one. Uh... Do I find a blizzard rod? I do. It's blue it's blue on um the white, so it's hard to see, but the fact that I can't see it means I don't have it. Alright, tre treasures. Treasures! <laughs> Opening at mid falling. <laughs> it's done. Hey, yeah, purple rupee. And oh, it stopped. Uh, how many treasure chests can you open in the frozen time? Get it frozen? Because it's cold around here? That's I don't even think that's technically a joke. <laughs> uh, I need to upgrade my snow boots and stuff. You know what I also need to be- Oh, I broke my flame blade. Damn. Why was I using my flame blade on shit enemies? <laughs> I'm a dummy. I'm a dummy. Ah, oh, fuck it. It's got the halberd. It's faster than a lot of them. Ah, no. You almost got me. Hi, Farosh. Again. See, with the ancient bow, I could shoot far off from here. <laughs> and that would be awesome. If I don't die, i Uh. I'm not noticing anything. Do I have shrine sensor on? Random question. That's not. I do have shrine sensor on. Because this is my ultimate goal of being here. Looking at all these things, trying to like kill enemies, get their goodies, get some extra little bits like this. I'm all for this. I'm all, I'm all for getting like little extra bits. My main goal is still another shrine though. Grudo Spear. Do I have a photo of one of those? I don't know. I will drop another weapon to find out though. What should I drop? I want to drop this because it's almost broken, but it's really powerful. And the one hit that I get out of it to kill something with it is going to be glorious. Ooh. There are, like, so many weapons that I actually lack at the moment. Like, this is honestly what I want to get rid of. Yep. Guardian Spears are so weak compared to their other ones. So the problem is, I have no idea if I have a photo of a Gerudo Spear. If I don't, then I'll pick up the other one. But I have no fucking clue. Gerudo Spear I do have a photo of. Okay, Guardian Spear it is. 
Uh, what a glorious waste of time. Thank you. Get some berries. Get some more berries. Some berries and some berries. Is this a skull encampment thing? It is. Yes, okay. Is this multiple silver goblins? Okay. This is a slight worry. This is multiple silvers. Fuck off! You are not shooting freezing shit at me from that distance. Go away. Okay, you know what I, you know what I need? You know what I actually need? I need this. No, I don't I need to do this. Uh, ah! Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. God damn it, there's so many of you. Holy shit, holy shit. Spin! Fuck me. Okay. Goddamn silver goblins. Why do I only come across silver goblins when it's fucking snowing? <laughs> Ow! Jesus! Okay, you know what? Okay, you know what I actually need to do? Do I have any cold resistance things? I don't know. I really should keep some of them for exact situations like this. Okay. High level defense boost. Nom nom nom. Eat this. Go over here. Pop this on. And this. And so, I can't walk around, but my defense is higher, at least. So at least them hitting me isn't a fucking death sentence all the time. Yeah! Off the mat you go! Oh damn it. Would you fuck off? God damn it! Urgh. Go away! Oh, you're, you're just a piece of shit. You're terrible. I hate you! Go away! Oh my god, fucking... Everything's here! Why? Ah! Oh, I need to fucking lose all this too. Come chase me over this way. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, shit. Not what I meant, but okay. Fuck. Out of those arrows. Um. Ah, Bomb Marrow, fuck it. Bonk. Damn it. I thought the other one would be like so- oh, and my weapon's broken. Cool! Cool! Actually, you know what? A one-handed weapon, but so I can have a shield against this fucker? Maybe a smart idea. <laughs> Fuck everything about you. This is a much smarter idea. <laughs> Fuck you! Goddamn silver goblins. Assholes! I got some cool shit off you, but... Goddamn. I have a photo of silver goblin, right? Just now realizing after I killed one of them and sent the other one flying off the mountain. Do I have photos of all of them? Pretty sure that I do, but... Now I'm worried I don't. Okay. Now that I'm dealing with slightly less assholes here... Fuck all you still. Go away, everyone! Christ. Oh, you're all bricks. Oh, you're all sons of bitches. Go away! Go away! <laughs> I'm pretending to French Junior nearly. Uh, okay. I've got multiple bricks shooting these arrows at me. Fuck you. Hey, you can't hit me when I'm doing my six side steps, can you? No, you can't, you motherfucker. Oh, you're so dead. You're so dead! Two silver bacoblins, though, seriously? Is this even gonna count as, like, clearing this area? Because the fucking silver bacoblins down off the side of the goddamn mountain. That's why I didn't want to knock it off the side of the mountain, because I knew even if I... Ah. Please be a normal treasure chest, though, inside. Or a treasure chest at all. Okay, good. I was worried there wouldn't be any. Oh, oh. That's all. Go away! At least it's on one where I have to kill everything to get it. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Fortunately, in this case, it's an isn't. So incredibly not worth it. Fuck all you assholes. Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's go back to my snow boot so I can run around and back to this. There we go. Making my defenses up, but hey, I can move around normally again. 
What a bunch of dicks. Screw all you. Doing a bunch of damage to me, taking off a lot of health. Silver become motherfuckers. I'm very, very, very rapidly realizing how often and individual enemies are never the problem. The environments are. The environments are my worst goddamn enemy. You go away. Yeah, you run away, bitch. Uh, one day I'm gonna do that. It's gonna accidentally land on my head. Silver rupee. Random hidden chest worth more than the actual fight that I just did. Motherfucker. Do I have photos of these cute little pigeons? White pigeon? I do, yes, I do. Okay. Somewhere in this frozen hellhole of an asshole, of, called this area, there's gotta be a shrine somewhere. The fact that it hasn't beeped once is annoying, but the moment it starts beeping, we'll know. What the hell did I just hear? Oh, it's a bird. Okay. Bananas, 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 bananas. And a campfire with no one at it. Interesting. Interesting. I'll be on my way. I wonder if that's a Jaeger thing. Oh, that's a Jaeger encampment? Because, I mean, every time I kill one of them, they seem to drop bananas. I know you're here. Bye, Wolfie. Bye. Also, bye, Wolfie. I'm not caring enough to actually bother with you. <laughs> I'm climbing the mountain now. Fuck you. Go away. When's that? The first beacon was nothing but a, just a trap of enemies. Didn't even get a Korok or anything. Got some money, but fucking man. Like, here there should at least be a Korok, because it's a mountain peak. Yep, there it is. Uh, I appreciate how consistent that is. Every single, like, top of a hill is a Korok. Every single time. Every single one of them. Every single goddamn cliff face has one, and it's great. No. Is that it? It's a chance to treasure chest. Not gonna replace my photo, but I got the AX treasure chest and it's awesome, but. <laughs> Amber! Okay, anything else worthwhile here? Probably not. Which one are we going to next? The yellow one. This is just the edge of this. So there's all that down there, down to Dig Dug, but. No. If it hasn't started beeping now, then it's not going to be in that direction. The range on the shrine sensor seems to be pretty damn big, so... If it's not going off yet, then it's not down there. Which also makes me worry that there's not going to be any, any damn shrine in this whole area, but... So the problem is, there's there might be a shrine, cre uh, shrine quest in like one of these points, and because it hasn't actually come out of the ground yet, then it won't tell me. And I'm just gonna miss the one shrine quest that's in this area. Well, there's gonna be something where it's like, shoot a fire thing at the wall here instead of the electric one that you did over here. And I'm gonna miss that, and then I'll be sad. And I'll have done all this exploring for nothing. And then everyone's gonna be yelling at me like, oh my god, you missed it, you're gonna feel so shit when you realize it. And I'm just like, I realized it in the video, that's why I was saying it. Didn't you, didn't you pay attention to anything I was saying in my videos? And then you'll be like, no, because I never do. There it is! You know you want somewhere. I'm at least getting pretty good at being able to tell where shrines will be based on the map. Like just like, here's a big open space, there's gotta be one around here. Oh, it worries me that one of these things is gonna have a Korok in it or something. So I've marked something down there that has a Korok, but that, I don't know if that's just another frozen log, or if I saw something that would actually stand out. They just take so long to melt. These take so long to actually, end, now that I think about it, I don't think I have any fire weapons on me. So, I can't even do it anyway. So, you know what? Never mind. I will keep using this. Oh, that's my, oh, I don't want to break that. That's actually one of the, I don't know if that's one of the ones that I needed, but it might be, and I'm going to not risk it. Okay. So, yeah, the shrine's probably somewhere in the middle section there. But, hey, we're at least pinging it on our radar. Why did I mark this spot? Oh, is this the middle of Lacra Mesa? I marked the word, but not an actual spot on the map that would look to be a thing. Okay, 
Okay, so it's definitely down, because it's beeping, but it's not like three 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 Oh hey! Look what we've got! Something that I was going to fight that I wanted to fight in this video anyway. White mains Lionel! Cool! It's one of the tough ones! <laughs> Yay! Just what I need for how well I'm playing this game right now. Okay. Oh, fucking white mane blind like goddamn fucking snar. Come at me, bro! <laughs> I have a bow that will tear your asshole apart. I'll use this one for something. What have I what arrows have I got? That is not the arrow I want. This arrow would be good though. Hello! I oh, the idea of spotting, spotting, spotting. Ah, oh, now I've seen you! Oh, also, I'm noticing that over there. Alright, stop. Ow. Still got me. Okay, so I think that's the next level of the Crusher. So cool, I get to fight a Crusher one in the snow that's white and everything. Okay. Fuck me. <laughs> Fuck everything about me, I guess. Holy shit. You know what? I'm gonna abuse this. <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! And one last one. Fuck you! Yeah. Ow, 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 ow. Move, 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 move. Actually, you know what would be good here? I might try this. And it does knock it down. Yeah, okay. It doesn't knock it down for long, though. Okay. So I don't actually have a shitload of good food, so... Yeah. How many fairies do I have? Out of curiosity, I've got two left. Okay, so I really do have to be careful. Actually, also a one-handed sword, just so I can take that hit to the face. He's fine. Okay, run back up here. Run back up this way still. Hello. You try and hit me. Fucking try it. Ah. Uh, damn snow. It's always the snow. The snow is always what gives me the problems. <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Lag it! Yeah! Yeah! Fuck the frame rate! <laughs> Oh, okay, body explosion. You do that. Okay, go back to arrows that I actually have. Yeah, I'm going to chuck arrows as well. Uh, ice arrows, mate. Fucking Christ. Flurry rush, yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! And you're gone! Okay. When you cheat and bullshit, fuck the white Lionels. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh. I don't have to worry about it if you just cheat like that. Savage Lionel Crusher. 80 fucking 9 damage. What the actual shit. This Lionel made two handed weapon is immensely heavy thanks to a rare metal from Death Mountain Speak. The power of its downward swing is in a class all of its own. 89 damage? What the actual fuck? Lionel Guts. That gives me one Lionel Guts. Cool. Can't carry any more Lionel bows. Well, let me drop a bow then. Let me drop this bow that I hope I got a photo of. Let me check if I did. Did I photos in between videos? I did. Okay. Thank you, Lionel. For draining the shit out of my resources. Oh boy. Okay. Scroll on over to here. I need to make some food. For the next episode, I really do. Like, I've got so many stuff. I've got so much stuff that I can easily make food, and I can probably get a bunch of money too. I just have not done any of it. Okay, well. 
We have our Savage Lionel Crusher. We finally got that. Fuck, I'm just gonna head to the shrine. Oh, that's so the shrine. This is so the shrine. A bunch of blizzards around it. Motherfuckers. God damn it, why is everything in the. Uh, the snow areas are the areas that give me the most problems by far. Okay, do I. What? No, I need to go into here. What arrows do I currently have equipped? Ice arrows? I'm not gonna want that. Uh, put on some shock arrows though. I, I don't have anything fire. I've got like hardly. Can I even start fire? No, I've got some flint, so I can mean, still start fire. <laughs> well, hey. Gently lands. <laughs> ice rod! Hey! Just a plain old ice rod. I was wondering when I'd get one of just the plain ones. Uh, what should I drop for that though? This thing looks so evil! <laughs> like it's so... <laughs> um... Is that what I want to drop? Yeah. Look, I've got ice spears and shit. Ice rod, okay. Get some more luminous stone, because I don't have enough of it. Actually, I 100% do. And I probably do have enough to upgrade all of my Skullmania. But I need more, because it's pretty. Okay, how much have I got now? 92! I have enough. I just need the Lionel Guts. Bong. Blow the- oh, Blow those open. So I could easily go to that pathway where there's two Lionels in a row. And I'm pretty sure they're both blue. One of them has a Crusher. But I could go do that, and then that would be the Lionels, like, done. I guess, so... Okay, is that a, is that a silver fucking Lazalfos down there? God damn it, what the fuck? Why? Why are you gonna be doing me like this? Okay, what's the best way to melt this? So it's not saying three and it's worrying me, but it's clearly it, right? Like it's big enough to be one? I'm just trying to think of the best way to melt this thing. Alright, uh, organize this. Let me grab a log of wood. It's gonna plop this on the ground here. Because even if, like, if I have a flint, even if I do, like, set it on fire and everything, if the fire here doesn't continue melting it forever, I can just light a weapon on fire. And do it. Where is my flint? Where the hell is flint? I know I have some of it. Oh, it's down the bottom here. <laughs> it's looking next to the gemstones. I'm like, it's not next to the gemstones. Why is it? Oh, it must be on the previous page. Uh, just any metal weapon, right? Could there have been a more frivolous use? <laughs> Of that. Probably not. So I've got these weapons that I could burn up, but I don't want to do that. I just keep burning. It is melting it, right? Yeah, it does melt it. Let's take a time. Hey, Farosh! Why do you keep showing up in my videos? Why do you like being around us so much? <laughs> Always appearing. Will it melt faster if I put multiple fires down? Should I, should I cut when this is done? Because it's going to take forever. Man, I the ancient arrow which is so cheap. Actually, fuck it. Which is the zoomy one? That's the zoomy one. Fuck it. Let's see if I can pull off another... Miracle shot! Miracle shot! I don't even- I don't even know how close I'm getting. Is it still melting? I think it stopped melting. This bothers me. <laughs> I'm worried that the fire's not close enough to it and I'm just gonna have to put like a piece of log down. Like, can't hold that here, fuck you. Hold what I want! The if I had one of my fire weapons still, this would be so much easier. It's gonna keep popping it away. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be a process. 
Actually, it won't have to melt down the whole way, because it will get to a point where the shrine is showing. Like, it won't melt down, I won't have to get it down to a tiny little speck on the ground. Once the shrine is showing, it will work. So it won't be any, so it won't be that long. Watch this not be the shrine. Watch it not be the shrine, and I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> oh, man. Hurry up. Oh boy. Did it stop melting again? The fire has to be absurdly close for it to work. Like, the fire has to be basically touching it for it to melt. But these fires here don't count. It's like, come on. <laughs> Ugh, if I just... If if I just kept one, just one of my fire weapons, fine. Just I kept if I kept one. So it, it's again, it worries me because I walk at it and it doesn't go to three. That's what concerns me. All right, keep melting away. It's probably the easiest way to tell whether it's still melting or not. Bird's eye view. I can physically see the line anti-aliasing away from me. <laughs> or aliasing away from me, because the game doesn't have anti-aliasing. It's still going, it's just going slowly. So it does still go. It's just very slow. The wind- There it is! Kuta Car Shrine! Yay! Oh, oh, is, is there a fast way to do that? Like, the, do ice arrows or the ice rod melt it faster? I'm guessing probably, but still. Uh, yay! We eventually got inside. Eventually. <laughs> oh boy, howdy. It's fine. It's so incredibly fine. <laughs> and there's a, tr and of course there's an actual trial in here too. Yay, oh, fire everywhere. Oh my God, am I just doing an advanced version of what I did for the drink with this ice cube? Melting ice hazard, okay. Okay. So run through, don't let it melt. Okay. And then through here. And then through here. And then we've got this. Okay. It's seeming clear to me that I have to use this. Lock off. So it goes through here, yep. Then through there. And then we're up there. I don't even know where I'm putting the ice thing. Come here. Oh hey. Secret goodies! Yeah. Oh, up there. Frost blade! I like just dropped one of these and it was more damage I think because I had a damage up where this one went. Oh, okay, funsies. Uh, la, 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 la. What should I drop? What should I drop? What should I drop? Do I have a photo of Dragon Ball Mobile here? If I don't then I can drop that and it's fine. Well, it just goes from the bottom I do. Okay, so that's fine to, to get rid of. It's the other two that I don't. Thank you for us, Blade. That's just halfway down, back to the start. Yeah. It's just hidden secrets and stuff away. Alright, you go back up there. I will walk around. I like the idea that you've got to melt all this ice to get through and then the shrine inside is don't melt the ice. And then that goes here.
interesting developments here, I'm noticing. So, where do I put the ice? Is it just getting it to the door? Like, will it just pop open then? <laughs> oh, offer me a block of ice, only then will the path forward open. Okay, you just had to walk here. Okay. <laughs> Throw it, break it! Oh no, it just slides around. Okay. It doesn't break if you throw it. Wait, I think I just melted. it. No? Is it shrinking? I can't tell. I thought I heard something extinguish. But you know what? My moblin sphere may have caught on fire. <laughs> there. It may have just burnt to a crisp. Let me fall down with you. Okay, up this way. Giant block. Because I'm assuming it even being near, like I'm assuming it doesn't have to touch the fire for it to melt. Just being near it will melt it. But if I walk past here, does it melt? Seemingly not actually, okay. Well, this is a development. It can actually go near the stuff without melting, without too much issue. So, this will be easier than I expected. <laughs> Which I feel like is the description for most of the shrines that I'm doing in this game. Upsy daisies. Not fire jets. Can't do all three at once, can you? I don't think it can. Definitely not. Okay. Precarious this time. There it goes. Oh, almost picked that up a bit too close to that. Okay, but we, we're doing one. Well. We're dropping it. Interesting. Turned on the fire. Put it on there. And drop it here. Sits down. Okay. Please jump with it. I don't. I don't know if you will. I don't know if I'll jump with this if I run to the edge. Okay, wait there for a second. Get this over as close as you can to the edge. Yep. It throws and it slides. And I'm gonna rely on these factors here. There it goes. Come here. Splash the lava out everywhere. Somehow don't burn ourselves on it. A little bit. There we go. <laughs> we doing it! Yay! And then there's just this final one, which this one I'm not super, super sure of. Like time stop seems to be the thing, but I feel like the game's not asking you to put it up into the air and then time stop it before it moves back down. If they are damn. Like, I don't think they're asking you to switch between that and stop it in the air that fast. <coughs> or at least I'm hoping they're not. I can't, like, I'm, I'm struggling to even activate that. Can I... I can't do that fast enough. I feel like that's not what they're asking me to do. But what are they asking me to do is something I'm still not really sure of. I'm still not really certain on the, how I'm meant to be doing this. Like, so I can block it off like that, but how then do I then move this? I push this? Oh, no. I was just wondering if I can walk into it and push it while I'm walking with it, but that doesn't really work. Okay, 
This one has me stumped. <laughs> How much does this thing slide if I throw it? Does it slide a lot? <laughs> Not really. I was wondering, is like throw it, magnet it, lift it up, but no. Okay. Stupid idea time. Said stupid ideas, but they're just stupid enough that they could work. Damn it! <laughs> Even if I lifted it at that point, I don't know if the ice would stay on there. Okay, put this in slightly closer to the wall, so hopefully it doesn't fall off. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Stay on there! <coughs> this is so not gonna work. It's so not gonna work! It's so not going to work at all. <sighs> it was worth a try. It was stupid, but it was worth a try. This, okay, this has me stumped. Because I can't think of... How? Like, I can get that to stop this, but then how do I keep it there? Like, walking under I can do just fine. But I can't bring it with me when I do this. <laughs> like, I can walk through just fine. Ow. Okay, you know what? Just to avoid dumb stuff like that happening again. Yeah! Ah, oh, okay. I'm clearly missing a way of doing this. Um, this may be the dumbest idea I've had in a while. If I'm gonna do this, do it against the wall. So, this is so dumb. No! All that works. I was... Uh, I wanted to drop it. I was thinking stasis it, knock it a bunch to knock it forward, block it, and then it would slide forward. But, if throwing it through just works, then it works, I guess. I have a small ice cube. Will this suffice? Okay. Just plain throwing it is... It does it. Okay. You can just throw it through the last one and it doesn't melt it enough. But it, if you're gonna throw it through the last one, it means that you can't melt even slightly on any of the others. Okay. Me accidentally doing something stupid worked out for once. Yay. Yay. Uh, so dumb, so dumb. But, another shrine. Yay. Marching ever so closer towards finishing all the damn shrines in this game. Well, that's gonna be a great feeling when we've actually done every single shrine in the game. How good's that gonna be? Oh, it's gonna be so good. Just thinking about it, it's just like we're actually starting to do the Divine Beast. We've got 102 shrines. We're actually starting to approach the end. I mean, I could drag it out for a shitload of time if I turn around and just like, let's also do every side quest. Like, I could drag this out, this shit out forever. I mean, that's yeah, unreasonable. But I, I could do that, but I won't. Okay, so what I'm thinking before I end the episode, I want to go here, kill these two Lionels very easily, and then we'll go upgrade the... Armor that I was just wearing that's flame resistant, so it's level 3. And we'll finish off Skullomania, and then I can call it an episode. And I can go up upgrade the flame stuff now, but I might as well upgrade Skullomania while I'm at it. So, let's go kill two Lionels. And then, hopefully, each one of them gives us a Lionel Guts, and then we can be on our way. The fact that I'm at a point where these two Lionels are just a matter of fact, let me just go deal with them quickly 
things is hilarious to me, but these fuckers deserve it because they don't be carrying the normal line of crusher. Okay, so yeah, I know that there's, there's two in this valley somewhere. I'm just not remember, I just don't remember exactly where in the valley each one spawns. There's one! I swear to god, if you're white. Is this a view white man level now? What the fuck? What the fuck? When did you? Well, why did you? Motherfucker! God damn it! Son of a bitch! Okay. Okay. Eat a dick. Also, fuck you. But now I can deal with you a lot easier because. I don't have to worry about having shit defenses to survive in the snow, so you shouldn't be as big of an issue as your predecessors were. Who, as a reminder, all super dead. But you're still gonna crush us all still. There it is! Fuck your face! Yeah! 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 Super durable shields that broke right as I was saying that. God damn it. Uh, uh, one of the Lima shields, why not? Okay. Gonna need some health just to make sure I don't die. Need all the little bits that I can. Oh, fish skill's actually a lot there. Uh, that's probably above full health, so. Close can wait. Close can wait. Okay, come on! Flurry rush! You can't get a flurry rush. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. And Guardian Sword. Yeah, set fire to the ground! Yeah! Thank you. Thank you. You idiot. Fine, yeah. Alright. Hi, buddy. I feel like multiple arrows to the face! No, this is just critical. Damn it, none of those are critical shots. Yeah. Fuck! Fuck! Oh shit! Run, 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 run! Boom! Okay. New weapon time! Man, that was my really powerful one. I'm running out of one handed swords. Ah. I tried. Yeah! Yeah! Damn it. Oh, this is gonna hurt. I'm not gonna have a good weapon. Um. Yeah. I knew that one was gonna be a, 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 a hurt a lot. Okay. Eat some foodies. Oh man. Um. Okay. Okay, let's get closer to your face, so hopefully I can get the critical shot. Damn it! I'm not getting the criticals! My strategy is being defeated! Are well, these assholes being assholes? Okay. There it is! Flurry Rush! Please die. There it is. Okay. Motherfucking Lionels are all going to be goddamn white ones now, aren't they? Pieces of shit. Shock arrows, Lionel guts, a bunch of those. No more Savage Lionel bow. But hey, now I've got two of these. One of them not 80 fucking 9 damage. Alright, what bow am I dropping for another Savage Lionel bow? 50 fuck. Oh my god. Um... I can drop one of these many, many bows here. More Savage Lionel bows, I'll take it. Is this Savage Lionel bow special? Slightly. Up attack. Slightly. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Random question. Did I get one Lionel Guts from that or two? I mean, I know I didn't get two. It's wishful thinking. But did I get two? I did not. Okay. Let's go fight these, this other Lionel that's up here that is going to be a pain to. At least this one up here shouldn't have a crusher. 
based on the stuff that I was reading and the times that I pulled them before, won't have a crusher. <coughs> Pardon me. So, won't be like a complete obliteration. Like, the ones that don't have the crushers, I can deal with a lot easier. So, even if it is an asshole and does turn out to be another White Mains Lionel, because all of them are White Mains Lionels now, it is. It is another White Mains Lionel. So, have I just gotten to the point where every Lionel's white now? Okay. Okay. Cool. This is good. This is what I wanted. I'm running out with like a freaking weak ass piece of shit sword. Yo, buddy. Sup? I have a present for you. Mine's better than yours. Okay, try it. Try it! Try it! Flurry Rush, yeah. See, this I can do. Yeah, this I can do. I didn't mean to press that button, but okay. What's your plan? Oh! Oh, your plan is to be stupid. Okay. Okay, back into the air. While I'm up here, let me change over some things. Because I haven't really... Actually, this one's about to break. So we'll use this for now. Yeah, fucking ten minutes. Why not? <laughs> and next time we go on the other one. Oh! Yeah. Wolves, you really don't want to be here. Seriously, yeah, one of them hit. Yeah. Wolves, you don't want to be in the middle of this uh, clash amongst gods right here, so I suggest leaving. One and two, and damn it. That was a stupid way that I walked there. But whatever, I can grab this. Fire, but it's fine, because in the air we go. No, you don't even try. Fuck you. Yeah, it is. There it is. Face shots. Face shots. Face shots. Face shots. Oh, I'm gonna wanna run away from this, aren't I? Boom! Hello! See, when you don't have to crush her, I can deal with you a lot easier. What? I've never seen you cancel that before. Interesting. And shoot your face when you expose it. You idiot. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fuck you. Thunderblade badly damaged. Damn. I'll wait till it breaks. Fuck. That's what I meant to parry. Oh, yeah, there's something. Walk away from. Don't run away. Oh, fucking go away. Stop doing body explosions. Ow. <laughs> fucking damn it. Uh, wrong button. Uh. Many shields. Okay. Can get some. Yep. Your toast. Fuck. God damn it. Uh, doesn't have a shitload of health left, doesn't matter if I use a weak weapon on it. Oh yeah, try it, try it, try it, come on. Man, wild lionels are serious, hey? Like, what? white lionels are actually a threat. How much damage they do. Even when you've got the ridiculous amount of health that I have. I mean, not like... I mean, I took out three of them in this video, but uh. yay, horn, horn and guts and everything. Woo, 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 woo. Savage Lionel bows, Savage Lionel spears. Thank you for all the goodies. And let me just double check my materials. Three guts. Hell yeah. Let us go to a fairy. Let's go to the one here. Is this Tamantha? This is Tamantha Tower. It certainly is. Now we can go upgrade stuff. <laughs> uh, I feel accomplished. Killed a lot of wildlife. I feel... I feel proud. I feel... Villainous. <laughs> I feel destructive. I feel powerful. Probably things that you're not meant to feel when you kill a bunch of sentient creatures. But it's what I feel. It's what other games want me to feel. So it's what I feel. But hey. I killed a bunch of animals so I can make my clothes that I hardly wear that aren't that useful even better. 
But at the end of the day, isn't that the most important thing? It is still too cold. Drop in temperature just a little. There we go. I did it. Oh, more luminous stone back, just in case I don't have enough. And hey, we're at a berry fountain, so maybe I can actually pick up some of my berries. Because I've used a bunch now. Uh, my rock cutting instruments. Luminous stone for me. Luminous stone for me. Luminous stone for me. And luminous stone for me. Do I have over a hundred? I do. Yes. That officially makes me awesome. Okay, berries. I need you. I think I used three this video, so I'll just that many sitting around here, so grab you all. Patiently walk around. Actually, there's four of them. I just can't see or count. Berries. Yeah, these ones are a bit higher. Come down lower slightly, please. Come down this way. Where are you? Oh, you're, yeah, you're coming down. Thank you, and fairy. Stop pulling at the rocks. Come on. Fairy. Fairy. Fairy, please. Come on. A little bit lower. You're being a prick. Come here. Okay. While well, you decide whether you want to be here or not, I'm going to pick up the Enduro Carrots. I may now have enough to actually make, like, three dishes of that thing that I still haven't well done. I certainly can, and I have some left over. Oh boy, that's like 1,500 money. I mean, not that I need money, but in case I ever do, I have it. Actually, I, need, I still need money to make the last little pieces of the, um, ancient weapons. I need a fair bit of money for that, so I'm gonna be good to keep. See, I'm at a point where it's just like, I will sell, like, I'll make those three Enduro Carrot things and I will sell those off. Most of the other food that I'm going to make now, I'm not going to care about selling off. I'm not going to sell off my, all my individual little pieces of food I scared away. I'm not going to sell off all my individual, like, pieces that aren't the massive food selling ones for food. So I'd rather use that for healing, because I don't need money anywhere near as desperately as I used to. Not back when I needed 10,000 fucking rupees and shit. <laughs> Enhance away, please. I'm gonna use this. Yeah, I could get that up, but I, or I could get Skullomania up. Holy what? shit! Yes, I will do that instead. Actually, oh, they're they're all level three now. Okay, mm. awesome. Yes, please. Mm. Level four Skullomania because I can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Powerful armor. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Ugh. Oh. Wake up, Link. Dun 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 dun! Hell yeah. Hi. 20 defense on that. Yes, please. Do I have enough to do all these? Yes, I do. I just had to double check, so it's like... This is the whole point huh? of, like, grinding in between uh? episodes. I better make sure I can actually upgrade the flame <laughs> and stuff. But I can, so it's all good. <laughs> Whoop! Ah! Uh. <laughs> She seemed to enjoy it at least. Bum ba da ba bum! Radiant shirt. Oh man. Yes, please. And one last piece. Hell yeah. Skullomania is now max level. Hell yeah. It took this long to get there, but Skullomania is now maximum level upgrade. Pretty unnecessarily, but it's I... there. <laughs> yes, more clothing upgrades. The main ones that I need. Actually, just reorganize everything. Double check. Oh, nature scale, PSD and stuff. Oh, of course. Or I could just, you know. So, God, to get this up to. Uh, to get this up more, I need to kill a shitload more Lynels. Like, the horns and stuff are fine, but it's six Lynels all up. So, that I'm not gonna bother with anytime soon. Um, oh, I can get my Hyling Garb up to the final thing. I can only get one of them up there, but hey, I can do that too. Not that uh, I'm ever going to wear it. Seems mm -hmm. like the most useless set in the entire game. Because it just provides defense, and it provides the low levels of defense. 
Like it's the equivalent of th these <laughs> items that I'm that I've got here, but it doesn't provide any special effects. I mean, it's like I never see like you never wear the red shirt. Why? Because why would you? I mean, the hood you wear because it's cool and everything, but everything else, fuck, forget about it. Random question: What's for level four? A shield letter smothering butterflies and Hinox guts. Holy shit! So okay. Ah. Uh. Uh, there's a lot of pieces for upgrading, it's just gonna be running around collecting them. But there are there is definitely stuff where I'm going to need bosses. Like I need to grind bosses. I... Yeah, I've got the care put into that, thank you. One more piece of armor, please. Also my flame breaker helmet. Mm. Yeah. Uh... Yes, please. Okay, so that makes all of my like story relevant clothing that I currently have level three. Actually, is the Zora stuff level 3? The one piece of Zora armor do I have? Is it level 3 or is it level 2? I actually have no idea. It's... It's level 1. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, so... The Zora armor is really far away. It's... Okay. Whoopsies! Oh no, it is It's currently level 2. Yeah, because Flame Breaker, I just got to... Oh, I, I keep getting confused whether the stars is what it currently is or what it's going to, but no. So, okay. So that will go up to level 3, and then, yeah, I've already got when I need it to max this out. But I still need to find the other pieces. I'm so confused that I don't have the last pieces of the Zora stuff. Like, I've got all of this, I've got all this, I've got all the other shit, and don't have that. Did I ever check what the ability was of the stealth stuff was? Did I ever check that? I got it to level 2. Did I ever check what special ability was? I'm pretty sure I did, but I can't remember off the top of my head what it was. What was it? Night speed up. I don't think I ever checked that. Okay. So at night, am I just faster wearing this? I do seem to be moving faster here. Okay. When it's night time, you're faster in this set. Interesting! That's a pretty good bonus. Like, damn, I'm, that actually runs really fast. Okay! Running around at night time. Use this set. Move around super fast. Holy shit. Okay. Can't believe I've never fucking checked that before. <laughs> oh, I had to get so many sons of flies for it and I never even checked it. Oh, man. Oh, I also need to get this up to level 2 just to see what that bonus is. But hey! 36 armor in this ridiculous set now. <coughs> Pardon me. But, most importantly, 60 goddamn armor for motherfucking skull o -mania. Let me unequip all of my weapons so we can truly embrace its glory. Nope, that's wrong. There we go. Hell yeah. skull o -mania, motherfucking max level armor. No reason for it, but we have it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, so with that done, I will save the episode here. In between episodes, I'll rest in my bed so I can get my health back. I will make some food so I have some food items. And I'll take photos of weapons. And then on the next episode, we shall continue our journey of spending way too much time and effort upgrading shit that really doesn't matter. So until then, this is Version 2, signing out. <laughs>